Hey, what is going on guys, and welcome back to another City Skylines video. The last City Skylines video in this series. Um, so I've done this episode a little differently because it's not too long. At the end there are a few different, uh, screenshots from the city just so then we can see what it looked like when it was actually completed. Or, cause I did do a little... A little bit off camera like I made a few other things which I'll show you which was more of just an experiment to see how I can make it work and overall I think that the city ends up in a pretty good state obviously it doesn't end up in a finished state but that being said even though it's incomplete it does end up looking pretty good and I'm very happy with how the city has gone um, and I hope to be able to continue making these City Skylines videos in the future, uh, if that is something that is wanted, like I have said a few times. But, as you can see, I'm just trying to work on under the highway, because I don't want to forget about it. I think it's an important area to remember that, okay, that's like a thing, let's just make sure it's real. Let's make sure it feels like an actual place that you can go visit. I tried to have paths in a lot of areas, too. Um, like I said, I want my cities to feel walkable. I don't want them to feel like uh, an urban hellscape of just cars everywhere. And there you can see I am using some yellow trees, which is kind of like the first part of when I went to the fall theme. But as you can see here, I'm putting a bunch of paths under the highways because I thought... Okay, well we have all of this here, all these highways, and I have like road anarchy and move it so I can fix those pillars and stuff, but I thought, you know what, let's have a walkway under the whole highway, and I think it turns out pretty nice. I like the idea of having a walkway under there, and it's something that I haven't really done. I've only really done in this city. And I feel like I should probably work on that. I want to integrate the highways more into the city. And I think using it as park space is a good way to do that. And as you can see, right now we're working on the urban sprawl once again. And this time I'm trying to do like a more of a built, planned community. And I'm not all too sure about how happy I am with that. I mean, it's definitely interesting to look at from above once it, I complete it. As you can see, I'm just kind of looking around. I'm like, let's see. Uh, I'm like looking at the city, trying to get ideas, kind of. That's kind of what I do whenever I get stuck. I'm like, okay, let's look at what I have done already and kind of get some ideas from that. But as you can see, it's just a lot of road work <laughs> for most of the city. And I switched to using the brick roads, which is something I've been using a whole lot more recently. I just really like the look of it. Feels very nice. Um, or like in Wilmette, which is a suburb of Chicago, they have like really nice brick roads, and it's always something I've kind of liked. And as you can tell, I'm working on the sprawl by doing the. What are they called? Gosh, I cannot remember for the life of me what those are called. Jesus Christ, why can't I remember? But those things. Cul de sac! That's it. A cul de sac. That, that's like the epitome of like suburban urban sprawl for me. So I've been using those to kind of help break it up and make it feel a little bit more spaced out. That's something I've been struggling with, um, is because when you get farther from the city, homes are farther and farther away from each other. So it's kind of hard to do in the game. Or at least for me, I kind of struggle with figuring it out. But I'm working on it, and I'm going to get to a place eventually where I can make a nice area that feels natural to me. Just takes a little bit, but I'll get there, I swear. Uh, yeah. Let's see, what are we working on? Oh, something that I found out I had a big issue with was some of these, like, uh, growables looked really shit and they would not upgrade so they would just sit there looking shit and I had to like delete them so yeah you can see them they're like the rectangular ones that 
are set back from the lot and it's just open and then they like remove the whole setting of the they they remove the zoning that's what it is they remove the zoning from the tiles that it's on and it's really annoying <laughs> and i hate it um i had to like find out what those assets were and then uninstall them because they suck <laughs> really badly and i'm sorry for whatever modder made it but yeah those assets are really shit i'm sorry man it just are and yeah as you can see i really like using these uh oak trees i've been using them in all of my saves they're the what live oaks i believe they're it's just a very nice looking uh one although i do like doing that little circular at the corner. I think I should do that again if I'm doing suburbs. It, it makes it more interesting. But as you can see, I really made it look planned, which isn't inherently bad, but at the same time, I don't think it worked that well. I think it looked too planned. It's too much space. And especially since it's so close to the city, it feels a little awkward to have something so planned right there. It should have been like a little farther away. But I don't know. Maybe if I actually completed the city, it would have ended up looking nicer. And as you can see, we're just going around the city. Checking it out. I realized I didn't have my dam there ever connected the entire time. So I finally connected it. And we're nearing the end here. And you can see where the save starts to break. As I zoom in on the city itself, all the buildings disappear. And it was really frustrating for me, and that's kind of why I stopped. But I did it did fix itself a little bit for a while, and then the game just broke again. But you'll see um, right here. So I made a little harbor, and it was kind of an experiment to see how it would look. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, it looks pretty nice, and I wish I could have completed it. But oh well. Maybe I will be able to in the future. And this is just more shots of the city as we're nearing the end here. Just to get like a final good look at it. I got some good screenshots from the save and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I wish I could have continued it, but overall it was, it was nice. It was a nice save. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and... I guess I'll see you in the next series. Adios.